Just click on enter, enter, enter. And do you want to see results? Are you ready? Are you ready? In this video, I'm going to show you and review the new MCP server called Cursor Talk to Figma. Yesterday, I scrolled my Twitter account and found this new one server. It reached over 400,000 views and it was impressive for me. Also, I see the demo where you can turn your mockup from the light or dark Sam by a single prompt in the cursor. Like you actually can create the mockup using chat in the cursor. Yeah, we understand that we have the similar feature by Figma AI, like first draft, but I want to try use this new server and uh, rate their possibilities. It sounds pretty cool, right? I have spent two hours to investigate this server. So you, as you can see, I already install it. This is a clear instruction. Only one problem during the installation, you will probably have client closed message um, here. Like you will have a red dot. You just need to restart your cursor and it would be okay. In other way, I don't see any mistakes. If you're interested, I can upload tutorial how you can install this cursor to my Discord channel. Just join my free Discord channel. Uh, I already have only three people. <laughs> it's my army of three people. What we need to do next, uh, we need to install the plugin to the Figma and we can create a connection between this plugin in our, and our MCP server. Because as you know, Figma don't have API write access. So it's impossible to do like correct MCP server. So I'm open readme md, uh, press bun socket. Okay, we start. Okay, let's open the Figma, the new terminal, write bun socket cursor talk. Um, let's try to disconnect, connect. Use local, connect. Oh, okay. So yeah, we have this message so we can see our channel, number of our channel. Let's con let's check it. Yeah, this is the same name. So we have connection. Also, we go to the cursor setting. We have a green dot. So now it's okay. We need to join our channel in the cursor. Just press the command send run tool okay great so yeah we in the file cursor have access to this file for example i can create the frame one frame two and frame three uh, then we go to the cursor and ask uh, how many yeah frame one frame two frame three yeah so a uh, cursor now have access to our page and we can create something here Let's do, for example, create. Uh, here we can see the code. So as you can see, we have a weak structure of this one. So in this plugin, we don't have yet like auto layouts or tokens or some smart objects. Enter this prompt, like create landing page about food for pet shop. Uh, I'm just clicking enter, enter, enter. And do you want to see results? Are you ready? Are you ready? So let's see. This is one. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's it's not good, actually. And I want to compare. I do the same, same landing page with Figma AI. It's, do you want to see how Figma do, did this? This one. This is what Figma do. It's another level. We can see like poor frame structure. When we select this one, we can see auto layouts. Like Figma only starts their journey to it. Let's be honest, now it looks better. But what you can do with this MCP server, for example, I can select this frame and ask something about this frame. Like, tell me more, how I can improve my UX, how I can improve my UI, can you make it can, can we provide advice for, uh, you can find the same exact features in the MCP servers that I showed in the previous video. It's not something spe special for this MCP. For example, it, you can have the same one for this one, but in my opinion, it's better. So what is my verdict? Is it MCP server worth your time? 
Uh, I guess not yet. So this is the reason number one. Uh, the server feels more more like a demo than a finish tool. There are no support for auto layouts, tokens or responsiveness, just layers. So realistically, uh, you don't have option to speed up your work and uh, you just can create a login screen and try to impress your colleagues. So reason number two, it's Figma API limitations. The Figma currently does not allow write access, so it means uh, that tools like this one needs to use workarounds to build a quality mockup in the Figma. Uh, reason number three, native Figma features is start to growing up and we need to like wait more time and uh, Figma do impossible, incredible things in this way. What I think about this is MCP, it's a great start. This tool was published only one or two weeks ago uh, and you can already see the potential. A powerful part for design and workflow, but not for now, not for now, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.